Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to The Sonia Show. A protest happened recently on our roads. It was started by the brigades, as they always are. The police luckily intervened so that innocent people weren't hurt. Thank you, police. This wouldn't be a democracy without you. Remember, these protests are organized by criminals. Stay as far away from them as you can. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. Surprisingly, it does appear Flores has some supporters, probably members of the brigades. As you know, the Sonia Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia hotline. Take a good hard look. And that has been the Sonya Show. Hello, I'm Steve, owner of the Paradise Motel, where just one night will forever change your life. Now, there are rumors of a serial killer in the area, but that's just what those are, rumors. A rumor started by our rival Supreme Motel. They're just jealous of our jacuzzi. Try to avoid the cops. They're all in Tyrak's pocket. The forecast? Cloudy skies with flurries. Hey, not so fast. Overnight flurries will increase with total accumulations of three inches. Tonight's low near 15. Scattered snow spot activities fall to the high of 34. With the wind.
sleeping on cardboard. I couldn't have that. No. Personally, I find it cozy in here. Just you and me. Together. Don't worry. I just need your help. With a little problem. Uh-oh. Could be a cop. They're patrolling motels looking for missing teens. Teens like you. Not yet. Anyway. Nothing. Get in the closet and don't make a sound. Not even a peep. Get in the closet and don't make a sound. Not even a peep. Oh, hi, Steve. I feel that. Found my little problem. Good. So, yeah, I need your help with that. He uh, talked too much. Maybe a little. Hey, see that face on the TV? Soon it will be gone. Oh, now, come on. Let's give our little friend here a nice, hot bath. He could use some cleaning up, don't you think? Hmm, I see what you mean. Keep your mouth shut, or you'll take a bath too. One more thing. Oh, is Jared here?
I saw him get a gas can from his trunk. Oh, okay then. So, there's nothing I can help Jared with. Sorry, a dog barked. Can you repeat that? Don't test me. Whew. What a relief. Oh, I see Jared's watching the boob tube. Is the reception to Jared's liking? Oh, okay, good. So, tell me if Jared needs more channels. Is everything okay? Make him go away. That's no. You guys grilling in there? Fine. But you don't have to be rude about it. Close call. Yeah. Here. For helping me with my little problem. Is everything okay? Say what now? Oh, hi, Jared. See this day, and it's all your fault. Oh, I see. I won't get angry if you aren't. Not this time, anyway. Bye, kid.
With pleasure. You drive! Don't look at us! Just do what we say, and you won't get hurt. Shut up and step on the gas! Our motto not starting outside the laundromat after we rob it. Humiliating. Uh, you think I don't know that, Stan? It's your fault, you know. My fault? Oh, that's rich, Mitch. should find another Robin partner. Well, uh, maybe I should. Like this kid. Fine, take the kid. She's clearly a criminal anyway. Hold on, hold on. Before we end the best Robin duo ever, let's take a deep breath. Yeah, we shouldn't rush into this. This is big. I know. Let's put the radio on. It'll help us forget about the laundromat. Good idea. A laundromat robbery happened about an hour ago. Ah, jeez. Witnesses say the two robbers both dressed like they were into S&M role-playing, argued the entire time. Though the suspect only made off with $72 in quarters, they are said to be armed and very dangerous. If you see them, please call the police immediately. We're laughing stocks. And Sonya reporting it, no less. Oh, jeez. I guess that's it. Stan and Mitch are breaking up. Go on and partner up with the kid. Yeah, I guess that's it. Wow. Only one thing left to do. To be sure this is the right move and I'll give the kid Mitch's ultimate bank robin quiz. Yeah. Questions by which Mitch evaluates your criminal mind. Get enough questions right, and you and Mitch become Robin partners. But don't, then Mitch and I have to... Uh, I don't want to spell it out. Question number one of the following. What is the best location to rob? The clock is a uh, ticket. You'd think that, but they're actually really hard to rob. Yeah, really hard. That's strike one. Question number two. When is the best time to rob? Wrong. That's when the Sonya show is on. Strike two. This is your last chance. <laughs> Question three. What is the best getaway vehicle? You would think, but no. Yeah, sometimes they break down in front of laundromats. You lost, kid. <laughs> been
kept inside so long I've lost sight of right and wrong When you left an open door I couldn't help but explore So I took off with no plan Thinking I could find a friend Hands. I hope this moment never ends It feels so good out on the road and on my own Waking up and no strings attached, no looking back from ocean waves to desert skies Given all the hostility, it's normal the police would get violent Wait, you're saying the police are justified in using violence? you're here. Now I'm not the only one subjected to this. People are looting, Jeff. What good will come of that? Looting is reasonable when the system is so broken. Do you think they always talk like this? Ah, so gross. I guess I can't have this conversation with you, can I? So, you're one of us, aren't you? I knew you were a crosser, like me. I can smell it on you, literally. Let's talk about something else then. Think they know what we're really up to? Yeah, no way. So, I got an idea. Let's play this game I found and listen to some music. Here, take my Walkman. Wait, have you played before? I like to know my opponent's strength before crushing them. Then this is gonna hurt, sorry. Rematch? Do you like the music? Don't worry about hurting my feelings. I'm a big girl. I've got all kinds of tapes. Here, so you remember me. a new life. No, to have a life. My dad thinks I'm lucky to have a big house and go to a prep school, but I'm not. Believe me. Yeah, you could say that. Look, I'm gonna tell you something, okay? Maybe I shouldn't, but I feel like I can trust you. My father is the Minister of Oil. Keep it down! 
Did you kids say something? Uh, just that you have a great band? Thanks. Oh, I feel better now that I've told someone. I wanted to tell this one kid, but we got kicked out of our campground before I could. Can you go back to thinking of me like you did before? As this exquisite being you're lucky to share oxygen with? Thanks. Hey, kids. Uh-oh. Good luck. Can I ask you something? I was wondering, would you say you're political? Uh, no. Not really. What about you? But you're leaving because Petria has problems. And please don't deny you are. <laughs> Jeff, an undercover agent. What? I could be an undercover agent. Anyway, because you are leaving, you two are political, at least according to me. So since you are... Jeff! Almost done. What are you gonna do to change this place? I don't know either. Yeah, maybe nothing can be done now. So depressing. What's certain is, it's the youth who are gonna make change happen. If it happens at all. Finally, we agree on something. I'm sorry to hear you say that. Oh no, road control. You go over the speed limit? No! I mean, I don't think so. Everyone stay calm. Kids, let us do the talking. Road control, ma'am. License and registration. <laughs> Happy to help however we can, sir. Sir, he's nothing but a road control zombie. Those your kids? No, sir. Just giving them a ride. I see. You all right, little lady? You seem a little nervous. Say, you look like one of the kids on the missing posters. I bet. Well, just to be sure, I'll need to see your papers. What if we were to make a donation to road control, sir? A donation? Well, for a donation, I suppose I could look the other way. Thank you, officer. Wait. Wait, you're not really gonna pay this guy, are you? It's people like you that are ruining this country. Excuse me? Quiet. Oh, come on! This turd in a uniform isn't gonna do anything. That's it, you're coming with me. What have you done, Zoe? Ah, don't touch me, What pig. do we do? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, ah, uh. Stay in the car, girl. Do what he says.
Okay, we all know the plan, right? Yes. Totally. Let's do this. Uh, guys, is it me? Or is that kid over there listening to us? Check, 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 check. Nothing to see here, kid. Get lost, kid. Where is he, Sonia? It's almost time. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I insulted him one time too many. Look, find someone to film this, and now you know how important this is to us. Where am I gonna find a loser to... Hey, you there! It's your lucky day. Sonia has a job for you. <laughs> some close-ups. And what a beautiful and strong pump it is. Like our nation, like our president. Speaking of our president, let us cheer him to show our appreciation. Nice one, Dumplin'. Flores. Flores believes we should abandon fossil fuels and take away your jobs. What do you, the hard-working people of Petria, think of Lupe Flores? Don't you F with my career, Dumplin'. There's been a lot of talk of a brigade uprising, but am I worried? No. I've even let my teen daughter embark on a road trip. President Tyrak will keep our nation safe. Praise President Tyrak! <laughs> With that 
said, who you vote for should be... Tyrak is a liar! Teens are being imprisoned every day! Tyrak is a fascist dictator! Vote for Flores! Save our country! Stop them! Now! Run! I'm here, Sonya. Oh, shit! <laughs> It's about time to drive off in my limo. Like all good journalists do when they finish a story. Look, to sum it up, you sucked with the intro. But I had faith. I was once a poor dirty teen myself. And then you sucked filming the minister, too. But it could have been worse, I guess. Here, buy yourself a new... everything. It's time to go, sweet cakes. Adam! Let's roll! Hello? into Super Supper to give everyone in Petri a free burger? Those capitalist pigs need to spread a little wealth around. What about you? Dang, girl, you hungry. Been on the road a while now, huh? Well, guess I'll get back to hacking this burger megacorp. You should take a snooze on that gnarly pillow behind you. Gonna need energy for the road.
I don't want to escape myself, but I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a girl who crossed using some secret tunnels at the border. Mr. Ursus, like always. Fourteen. But I got crazy skills. Other dogs want to be this dog. Know what I'm saying? I'm about to switch on the... You know what, Alex. And I need to know if there are any... Uh, you know what in the area. Stupid to do so, but I feel like I can. Mr. Ursus has an illegal radio, and he wants me to check on the cops to see where they are. I heard that, Alex. Only if you don't know what you're doing. Sorry, Mr. Yu. Can't help you today. Too busy trying to make it rain beef. here on the bus can. Don't worry, yo. It's simple. Even an adult could do it. Go ahead. Turn the scanner on. radio. that, Alex. Uh, yeah? We'll, we'll talk soon. Promise. Say that a lot. Unit 8, you copy? Alva. Unit 8 here. Camped outside the gas station. Not a for now. Over. Keep looking. You got donuts? Alva. Coast is clear, Mr. Yu. They're still at the old spot. Broadcast away. Thanks, eh? And, uh, homegirl? Beside, eh? And Alex. 
Make sure you reach out to your mom, okay? I'm sure she misses you. <sighs> sure, whatever. Thanks, homegirl. Here, for your help. Now, time to give the citizens of Petria free beef! And boom! <laughs> oh no! Trojan horse is down! Well, at least 347 people got free burgers. I can live with that. Next up coming up. to cross, but I don't have enough money for a coyote. Can I help you Maybe at all? I'll just go home soon anyway. Maybe you're right. Thanks for the pep talk.
special 10-year commemoration of the collapse. There's some never-before-seen footage there. Kid, you've got to show more discretion. There are guards here and like nothing more than to arrest us. Can we trust you? Okay. Some kids try to hide in the trucks and get through that way. Of course, there's no guarantee you'll get past security. They got all kinds of security measures. I hope you find your freedom, kid. We'll be rooting for you. been arrested. No one said it would be easy to reach the border, let alone cross it. But for one journey that ends, others are only beginning.